This is Larry the Barberman. I'm here at Champs Barbers, uh, 31 Riding House Street. And this evening we are going to review the Wall Magic Clip Cordless and the Andis ah, US Pro Lie Cordless Clipper. Made a mistake there. Uh, this evening to do the review with me, we've got Ian Hoyes, AKA Champ, and we've got Josh LaMonica from Menspire. And we're going to do the review on these two cordless clippers. Now, I've had people on my channel ask me why I always come to Champs to do these reviews. Champs Barbers is very close to my heart for a number of reasons. My first ever job was as a junior service engineer at Richer Sounds. Basically, if you do not know Richer Sounds, Richer Sounds was in the Guinness Book of Records for making the most money per square foot of shop. Now, if anyone's ever visited Champs, it's a very, very small shop. So he has some of the problems that Julian had in the respect that because they're making so much money in a little shop, they have to run at maximum efficiency. So when I'm doing a review, Ian, I find, is the very best person because it's high pressure, high intensity. He needs the very best from his tools. So I hope that answers the question. And as if anybody knows of Josh LaMonica, which I'm sure you do, you will know that Josh does everything in his ability to get the best out of his work. So that's why I brought Josh in today to help us out with this uh, review. Josh is actually a superstar right now. And you know what? For the purpose of this review, I'm going to rename him. Today, Josh is going to be J Lo. J for Josh, Lo for LaMonica, and we're going to rename E to E Diddy. This is a superstars review, so this is how we're going to kick off this evening. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with the new uh, Andis US Pro cordless. This has just basically been out a month, I believe, or five weeks. Uh, I just want to get Josh's opinion on it and see what he thinks of it. So, there you go. Cool, cool. Actually, do you know why I want to do this? I just want to ask it in a series of questions because what we tend to yeah. do is go off on tangents and we don't actually give the viewers what it is that they want to hear. So, if I could just ask you what you think about certain aspects and then go from there and then that way we keep it very structured and it's equal. Yeah, is that fair? Cool. How do you find the blade and the throw on that? The blade and the lever on the US Pro cordless. All right, so the US Pro cordless, um, I'm enjoying the blade, okay? There's no snagging, there's no pulling. The lever at the moment is a little bit tough, but I guess that's because it's brand new out of the box. I'm sure with a little bit of time, it will flow through a little bit. Again, with efficiency, I think we know if we need to work to a specific time, we need that lever to be really nice and flicky. Um, so at the moment, it's a little bit difficult, but like I say, in time, it could be nice. I like the belly on it. I like the fact that it's slightly slimmer. Um, and I like the fact that it's really light. Um, I prefer to do a lot of fast work um, to really get you know, the most out of my fading. Um, so that's a, that's a big plus for me in terms of being able to be efficient. How does it uh, deal with the feeding of the hair? Because you said you move fast. Some clippers, they kind of chug and can't sure. handle the, the, um, the feed of hair. So far, so good. Um, if, I put an, if I place a number two, Maybe sometimes I have to slow it down and you know place the comb through just to, to really remove the weight. But um, as short as a one or 0 0.5, then it's nice. I can still get that free flow. Okay. Um, how are you finding the charger? Because this can cause a lot of problems normally with that. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, fair enough. Do you know what I mean? That's fair. Um, battery life? Battery life so far so good. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of noise, do you find it noisy compared to, say, the Wall Magic, or is it a, a acceptable? I'd noise? say it's a little bit more silent. A little bit more silent. Yeah, nice. Okay. Um, and have you tried it with wet hair? I haven't. No, not wet hair. I don't tend to cut clipper with wet hair. Okay. So that's just that's just my method. Okay, and I'm quite intrigued to know why that is. Um, just basically because when I find that if you was to clip over comb wet hair, um, once the hair dries the hair will expand so you don't really know the level of precision you're cutting if you're doing it with wet in comparison to in its natural form which is dry. So it can give you a full sense of... It can give you a result. false effect, yeah. 
Okay. And the, the power of them, how are you finding them as a cordless clipper? Because one of the problems that we had in the past with cordless clippers, they couldn't produce the power mm. that a corded could, and as such, barbers would resort to using uh, corded. Corded, yeah. Um, at the moment, I find the power okay, but I haven't tried them out on super thick hair just yet. So hopefully E Diddy over here will have some <laughs> will have some knowledge on that. Um, but at the moment, I'm using it for a lot of fair hair. It's just the way that I want to test it out. Um, but on fair hair, great. It's powerful. It's effective, and I can get some speed from it as well. So that's what I'll be looking to use that from. Okay. And another thing that I think is important, uh, someone uh, mentioned on my last uh, review. Uh, was the fact that we didn't actually go into the guards. What guards are you actually using at the moment with the... So I'm using the purple magnetic, ma magnetic Andis guard with the uh, one magnet through the centre. Um, reason being is because if we can see we've got two screws on the clipper, the magnet the files trendy. straight through to the middle and it clips on nicely, nice and snug. So that for me is a bit of security, unlike some um, Blades might get chewed up, um, the plastic one, for example. Did you try the issued one? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, so these are slightly more flimsy than the purple one, but obviously that's an optional upgrade mm. to get the purple one. And I will say, before we actually shot the cameras, we tried to put the purple nanode guard with two magnets onto the clipper. And as Josh said, because the screws are protruding, it couldn't sit on snug. So my recommendation, if you are going to use the US Pro, would be to get the one magnet nano guard in order to get that snug tight fit. So when you are actually fading or doing your thing, your guard will not fall off. So, okay, perfect. Thank you for your uh, judgment on the clipper. If you could pass it over to E Diddy. <laughs> so E. Let's start off with your opinion on the lever and the blade itself that's issued with the, the, the clipper. Okay, so um, I've had the, the corded Angus US Pro before, which is a pretty good, but it's a lot heavier than this. And obviously like the, the freedom of not having the cord is, a, I think it's one of its best features. The blade, I, I mean, it's, I like it, you know. If, if you've got like a, a C motion fading uh, technique, it's, it's just right, because it's got a little curve here. So it's nice. Um, I haven't zero gapped it. I found um, taking out lines from a ball to, to zero and that with, with this was just, just fine without actually zero gapping it. So I was pretty impressed with that. Okay, so um, it was good to go straight out of the yeah. box for you. Um, I actually prefer the lever being a bit stiff because, as Josh said, like you, you do, they will start getting uh, looser with time. But I prefer it, so it's not. So I, I like to go down a little bit, down a little bit, down a little bit, down a little bit, and just go over it. So yeah, I prefer the lever that way. Okay, and how are you finding it in terms of power, torque? Very good, very very strong. Okay, so feel it, you can hear that. So it's marked very, very out of strong. 10 for a cordless clipper. I'll give it a 9. A 9, okay. Yeah. Just, just obviously this is not the overall score, we're just trying to mm -hmm. get a, you know, a measure of the power. The charger, how are you finding the charger? Because this is, the, with this US Pro, you can actually plug it in and operate if you run really low. Oh, okay, cool. So um, how are you finding just, the charger well, called? I charged it because it says on the, on the box that you have to charge it before you actually turn it on. So I charged it, and to, to be honest with you, I worked one full day, a long full day, doing a lot of haircuts, it didn't slow down on me. And then the next day, I didn't charge it up, and I went through the whole second day without charging it. This still hasn't been charged. And it's still going the same way. And if we, as we, we all should know that with the ion batteries, they just, they don't start, like, they don't start um, fading away, they don't start, like, you know. Lithium. Yeah, these lithium things, they go, they, they die when they die and that's it, right? Okay, yeah, no, yeah, that's right, so, a lithium battery. Yeah, lithium battery, yeah, so that's, that's a pretty cool uh, feature. So it's got good power, uh, good battery life. Good, good, good power. And like we just said, like, if you've got a fast style, that's perfect, if, the, if it's got power. If, if it's a slower motor, 
then you're good with a slower technique. But with you kind of ha you have to go with the way that the power's given yeah, you in it. Like yeah. so, if it's if it's a strong power, then you can work with it nice yeah. and quick and efficient. But if it starts to die out, then you've got to go to that speed as well. Oh, right. So, so that's that's pulling. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So with the consistency, it. you haven't got to do, you haven't got to yeah. do that kind of judgment That's work. It. You yeah. can so just go with the flow. Okay. And how do you find it in terms of noise? Um, I don't know. It's acceptable. I mean, I, I'm a bit picky about how I, how when it comes to the fading and stuff. The, the noise I've used louder machines and stuff, so that this is this is all right. This is okay. Okay, and you find it okay for feeding? Oh yeah, no, no, strong. Using, going through here fast? Yeah, very, very, very strong. Um, okay. And I'm tell me your experience, because you're kind of different from Josh in terms of when we were talking about the guards. You've actually started on just the issued guards. How have you found those? Yeah, so I, I like to try Josh. a machine and how it comes. Um, you're right, they're a bit thinner. But the only thing that did fine with these is they're a bit sharp. So if you've got like a, a, a customer with a meaty head, I found that if you're using, I like to use corners on my on my fading. So I found that this was catching. So I had to be careful with that. And then, then I, tr I tried the other guards. So I did. And then the other thing was um, I travel a lot with my kit. So... Um, Took last night, went to a film set, done a haircut there. This morning, I took this out, and let me show you. Okay. I can't put that on another customer's head no more, you know. And that's only been with me for three days, really. So, unfortunately, when it was working, it was nice and stuff. The only thing was that it was, it was doing a, like I said, a little bit of a sharp edge here. You got to be careful with that, but then. You put that and you travel around and obviously things bounce about and they come out bent like that and if you've got a, you know important client to do or any any of your, your your clients are important so you can't really put that back on your machine and put it on a client again so so the moral of the story is basically get, get the get optional <laughs> optional upgrade with one magnet yeah okay cool uh is there any other points you want to share of it before we score it yeah he did he sorry he did he champ <laughs> Get it. Okay. Get it. Even 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 my wife said that I keep talking about it, so it's good. Alright, and what are your marks out of ten overall? I'll give it a nine. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it a nine. Josh? What you I'll give it an eight, but that's only based upon J -Lo, sorry. That's only based upon uh, not using it probably as much as E did he. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, eight. Okay, perfect. Just send that back here. Alright, no, no, no. so we move on to the Wall Magic. The Wall Magic's been here a year and a little bit. It's kind of like an established uh, cordless clipper. Haven't heard any complaints, only heard really, really good things. The objective of this evening's review is obviously to see how they compare against each other. I don't think there's going to be much in it, but we have to take it through the process nonetheless. So we'll start again with Josh. Thank you. Uh, where were we? Blade and lever on the wall magic. Give me your take on it. Okay, so um, the blade on this magic cordless, um, the standard magic blade, for me, first few try first few times using it, I found that the blade actually snagged and pulled, um, especially on beards as well. Um, and sometimes you'll see that skin literally come right out and you can feel it. And I'm sure everyone who's experienced that gets a funny feeling inside and it's kind of like, oh. So what I've done, I actually changed the blade and put a, a senior blade on, basic blade. And the machine runs a lot smoother on the um, on the scalp, on the skin, um, and for me that's a massive, massive uh, plus because, like I say, I like to work efficiently and quite fast as well, so when I fade I need to be sure that I've got security, that it's smooth on the head and the scalp. Okay. The lever, um, the lever's good, 
it's a little bit looser than the Andis, but again, that's only based upon using it multiple times. So, yeah, so far so good. Okay, can I just jump in on the reason why, why you may have changed to the Senior Blade? On the Magic, uh, it's exactly the same as the Senior Blade. However, you've got a little tiny blade in between, uh, tooth in between every single blade. So that may be the reason why you're experiencing the mm. snagging. So what Josh has actually done by getting the senior blade, he's eliminated that extra blade that's in the center, which obviously after having this conversation, is not necessary to have. Um, power? Power's good. Um, it does die out for me towards the end, I feel. Um, and I have to work in cohesion with that, which I find sometimes annoying because I know that I need to let the battery die completely out before I recharge it. So I do find that kind of frustrating. I end up um, letting it sit on the side and running out whilst it's sort of nearly phased out um, and end up using the, the, the cords, you know, the corded clipper to finish off maybe when it's, you know, dying out. Um, so the power for me is, it's okay. So when it's up when there, it's, up it's there, good. When it's up there fully charged, you're nice. You're nice. You get power, you get efficiency, um, but towards the end of its battery. Okay, know. so let's talk about battery life. When, when, can, when would you expect that dip on the Magic? When is it, you know, Ian said that he charged up and he went a whole day. Mm. When would that dip occur for you? Yeah, so pretty much towards um, three quarters of the day in. Three okay. quarters of the day, maybe at the end of the day. And that was that way right from the very beginning or has it diminished over time? I think, as far as I'm aware, as far as I can remember, um, not right from the beginning, but as time went on. So the durability of the battery, I think, might be, I'm not too sure to be honest, but what I do know is, if it's full charged, you're nice. Okay. But um, right. that's it. That's cool. Um, guides, what guides are you using with this? Um, How so did you find the issued ones? And so I'm using the, uh, the metal guards, the ones with the metal back, not the clip-ons nor the plastic. Um, I find for me personally, the, the tips on the metal guards are just a little bit finer and I think they just flow through the hair of that a little bit more so than the uh, plastics which are slightly wider based. Right, and you better use that as a reference. You're, yeah. J Josh is referring to the premium so wall guides. the premium, I think they're, they're decent. Um, I don't actually use them too much myself just because of uh, being used to so much experience with uh, the, the basic metal back guards. Um, but the difference for me is that the basic metal back guards have a slightly pointier edge but still soft at the same time so you can get that nice flow through the hair rather than the, uh, the basic plastic which is just a touch more thicker. Um, and that's it. Okay. And ergonomically, how do you find them? In terms yeah, of comfort? do you know what I love? I love the, the, the shape through here. I think it just fits the hand nice and snug. Um, the belly's okay. It's a little bit thick, however. Um, and to be honest, if I could change the colour, I probably would, if anything, as well. And how does that thumb, you know, that thumb inset work? So with? this right here, this is comfort. This is comfort, yeah, this is comfort right here. Um, again, efficiency and just being comfortable you know, with your tools is probably the most important. Um, as I mentioned previous with my scissors, you know, it's really important for me to utilize the best in my tools. So again, that there is great for comfort. Okay. And how are you find in the charger? Um, charger cord, because like I said, that can sometimes. Charge. Charger cord is good. Previous, the super taper, that charger was useless, to be frank. Okay, um, and I have to jump in again, because the first, uh, version or the first generation if you like of that cord was like speaker wire That's right, and the Huawei have actually gone on and improved it and put a thicker wire and not only have they put a thicker wire the charger you can use it in any country yeah. so before well if you had American stuff you could only use that in America That's and right. the transformer. So you, can use, you, can you can literally use it in Spain, Japan, America, wherever you want so that's a, a yeah, big It's plus. much better, it's much better, they've done well. Okay. Perfect. And is there anything more you want to add on to that yourself? Oh, noise. How are you finding the, the other Is yeah, there noise? Noise doesn't really faze me. Okay. Um, but it's good that you obviously know when it's sort of on its way out 
because then you can sort of work to it rather than against it. And that's it. So overall, good clipper. Good clipper, 9 out of 10. Perfect. Cool. E Diddy, give it to me. How are you finding the blade and the lever on that? Um, blade wise, again, you've got a touch of a curve, which is really cool. You know, really Gives you freedom for flipping. Yeah. Um, I love the crunch blade for efficient cutting, like for if you need to, the shop's getting packed and you need to move, it, 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 it eats here, you know, really, really nicely. And, um, but there's no room for error. You have to be careful when you're, you know, you don't want to create any, any lines because it does eat it really good. Um, lever? Lever, they're, they're great at the beginning, but they do start um, going. I've had four of these machines and I've had to take to away a lever and input a, a find a, a fresh, you know, fresh body and then take the lever away from it and put it in. Yeah, there is, a, I mean, I've, I've got a video on YouTube where you can yeah. actually put thread locker in it, but yeah. a guy actually left a comment which is, could save you money and time in an emergency. He suggested getting a little bit of plastic bag and put in a little bit of plastic oh, bag around idea. the screw and then yeah. screwing it in good and idea. then that give you a good thing. Idea. But I would imagine that would be the kind of matty Tesco bag. Yeah, but in, in, the, in the middle of a busy shop you don't exactly want to start pulling that out in front of your customers and trying mm. to fix up the clip. No, I'm talking about for the next I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, I've had four of them, so, you know. Okay. But they are. This, uh, for me, this, these cordless machines in there, especially this one, because it was kind of like the first one out there, um, game changer. Mm -hmm. Being able to, you know, I do a lot of like um, charity work and that where I cut everywhere, like anywhere, could be anywhere. Like. So it's been really, really good. Like you do a hospital call, you can't have calls coming over people and patients and stuff like that. I take care of a lot of older customers that, that can't leave the house no more. So I go to them and, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll come or in a hotel room or you, someone, someone will call you up, they need to do it in a hotel bathroom. And you, you, you're stuck for like, you know, you ain't got an extension lead or stuff like that. And you've got this fully charged, you're good. So you so find there's no compromise in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 having a call, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a game changer. Okay, and, and you a, said that you, you spoke about power battery life in the US Pro and said that that was really, really good. How is the, the battery life in that one? This one, uh, I've said that it does, it does start to die away, and so you'll see your blade start to slow down, and then you have to like you, you it panics you. You're like, oh no, here we go. And if like I've always keep two, mm, always keep two in there, so um, I, I I can just put that one down. And yeah. Oh, and that's when you have to go it. back into manual and and kind of gauge how yeah, fast you're feeding. Yeah, it, it, it does. It's no good for you, man. Like you know, you just you don't. It's no good. It's no good. Mm. Okay. Um, we spoke about the charger and the feeding. What the feeding of the hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's that's what the crunch blade's got. The okay. crunch blade is, is it, it eats it, you know. So um, yeah, I, I think they're really good for it. You know? Okay. And what do you want to? Is there anything that you want to personally add from that? Um, they have improved from taking these apart and, and fixing things up on that. They have. Try, uh, try to tackle the arm. They've before it was all a plastic casing. They've upgraded it to metal casing inside of that arm, so it has actually made it better. But it's always going to go looser with time. Um, bag it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bag it. Tesco bag. But um, yeah, I would say, I'd say very, very, very good machine. Um, again. Holding it in your hand, ergonomic feels nice. Good, ergonomic. And that inset, you like that inset yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that's cool. Mm. That's really no, the, in, the thumb inset. The thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we didn't actually mention that on the Andis. How does the Andis compare? Not having that that inset. I think um, what you find because the Andis is thinner, then it feels nice anyway. Mm. You don't need uh, it. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. And because it's a lot lighter, because mm. it is a lot lighter you can feel the difference in them. 
So it's definitely a lot lighter with the Andes. So you, what you, with these things, uh, most machines, you've got to take in consideration with a cord weight distribution. So if you, you're moving away like that, it's, if you've got more weight on this end, or so if you've got a lighter machine, a lot easier for you just to move around with it. Okay. Make sure he, did he efficient. pass it into Jayla? No, Jayla. In terms of weight, just based on your own judgment, yeah. how much heavier or lighter is the... Um, almost uh, doubling weight, to be, to be really mm. honest. Almost. 50 yeah. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. let's be fair and say it's, it's one third lighter. Mm. One third lighter, I would to say. To be conservative. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what was your score on the Magic here? Did he? I would say... I'd, I'd give it like a. Mm, it's hard. I'd probably, probably give it an eight, but it's scratching the nine because of the crunch blade, which is something that I really like. Okay, so let's say let's, I'm going to ask you this question first, Jayla. If you had, you did not have a cordless clipper and you wanted to move into cordless clipper, which one would you buy, or would you buy both of them? Based on the look, I'd go for that. Um, but given the knowledge and experience of the blade on the wall, probably the wall. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Yuri, if you, you was from zero, you had no cordless, which one would you take? Okay, so the first time I saw it, yeah. Barber Connect, yeah? Um, Big shout out to Kieran, he showed me it. And to be honest, I looked at it and I thought, hmm. But then once I tried it, I've got to say, the Andes, you know. But like I said, I've, I've had to go through um, four, uh, four magic clips. You know, shout out to Simon also from Wild. He gave me one before they even came out. So I've been using them. They have, you know, they have come good. But um, on the knowledge, using them like day in day out, having one good clipper with a big big battery in it, not running out on me for nearly what two and a half days. That's good for business, you know. Okay. Whereas having two running out on you, having to turn around, plug it in, that's not efficient, is it? So. But really and truly, there isn't that much in between. Because you know, some people are quite, I don't know, loyal and they like to see all of the same brand. No, I'm, I'm a tool geek. I've got every tool <laughs> in the box, man. So I have to have it all so I can try it all and to find out what's better for my business and for my clients. Um, if I find that something is going to be pulling at any time, I can't use it. If, it's gonna, if I'm going to be thinking that it might pull on one of my kids, clients and stuff or what, any, anything like that, I'm just not going to have it. Like I said, I cut a lot of older people too. The skin goes, you know, different. Like cutting a baby and a, you know, an older, older gentleman, the same thing. So I can't have nothing like that to, to you know, jeopardise my work either. So, or reputation. You know, yeah, like we, as barbers, the last thing you want to see is anything blood or anything like that. So, I mean, I go with a better tool. So, you know. Okay. Any closing words? Yeah, just, Taylor? um again, um, same as that, got loads of tools, been through them all, like to have the knowledge upon the experience of, you know, what, what clip was good for what, what clip was not good for something else. Um, and the same as that, you know, really want to try and utilise the best tools possible for my work and my business and again to place forth the knowledge to my peers and my employees as well. So again, a wide observation in tools is, is, is respectful as well to all kind of brands um, rather than just being I'm this guy, I'm loyal with this. Um, be open and be honest and then you know you can work with what's best for yourself, no doubt. Yeah. I think that's fair. So it's the best man wins irrespective yeah. if it's a cordless magic, a bolt tearing rotary motor or even a sh Andis or an old school Moses. Well, shaver. That's right? Old school Moses as well. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yes, the um, yeah, yeah. Russian, yeah. Russian clipper. Yes. Sorry, I just 
fell off a, my clipper head fell off and then comes came yeah. back in. Yeah, right, gentlemen, J Lo, thank you ever so much for giving your feedback on this. E Diddy, thank you very much for giving your feedback, hosting it in your shop. And guys at home, I hope you all find that informative. I've kind of gone as deep as I can without even without getting the boxes out. So I hope you found it helpful. So from Champs Barber Shop, I wish you well. Larry the Barber Man. <laughs>